The client tells you, I just murdered. Absolutely not. How was that bowl? Huh? What was even in here that you just decided to eat? All right, hello. Today is Friday. It is November 3rd. So, um, my vlogs are probably gonna be a little bit more pushback because I'm uploading other content or maybe I'll do some stuff on Thursdays. I've been trying to do that. But I haven't really been vlogging. I don't really have much going on. Here she come. I don't really have much going on. I just, um, I'm in my second week of my new class, which is ethics, law, and morality. And it's asynchronous, which does not mean what you think it means. So we don't go in class. So one week we don't meet, and then the next week we meet online. And it's so confusing, but yesterday was the first time we met and we were doing case studies. That's all that this class is about this time is case studies. We were doing case studies um, about clients and ethics and morals and how do you solve these really complex cases. So for example, I can give you one now, which isn't real, I'm about to make it up on top of my head. Your client comes in, you can tell that they just visibly look upset and so you go, hey, what's you? I can tell that you're visibly you visibly look upset. What's going on? And the client tells you, I just murdered. I just murdered somebody. What do you say to that? Like seriously, like this is extreme, extreme, right? But these are things that you that a counselor or a person may run into in this profession and it's kind of like how do you handle that what are the ethics what are the laws what are the moral um consequences of everything what are the rights the confidentiality of the client now i know this one is very extreme okay like this person came in and murdered somebody so obviously like you're gonna have to call the police or something has to be done right because you can't sit there and not um not talk about a murder case right you know that's just kind of crazy but um these are these there are these ethical dilemmas that you come across and there's an ethical decision making model that you have to use when you have these dilemmas and i'm learning about all of this stuff and i'm just sucking it all in because i'm like what would i do in that situation right because you never know how you truly respond but it's always good to practice because you need to know how you are going to handle these um situations and are you going to do it confidentially are you going to breach something are you going to do something morally correct you know additionally to all of this you also have to seek um counsel from other people and there is a whole lot that goes into it but that is literally just my thought process from being in class yesterday and i was just like wow I haven't been vlogging. I know this is me talking a lot. I haven't been vlogging because I haven't really had much going on. And I probably won't pick up the camera until next week. Um, just, I just don't have a lot going on. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the vlog takes us. But if I don't have a lot of content this weekend, I might just throw in next week. So this, this is the third. All right. I missed all the way from the 29th to the 3rd because it hasn't really been much going on. But um, we'll see what I pick up. <clears throat> so, my hair got caught in my headphones. This got a package from Shein. <clears throat> this is a very impromptu. This is all I bought was makeup. We are giving an extremely different angle here. This is kind of trippy to me. Okay, so Everything that I got in here is mostly just makeup. So we got, these are some lashes. Ooh, these look so pretty. So this is what they look like. They look really cute. They're kind of, they're technically upside down, but I can't wait to 
install these. These are going to be really cute. Um, oof, I got a lot of packages that I just have to open. But this one is a color corrector concealer. And this is in the color orange. This one is a brow gel. So this is red brown. I got two things of concealer. This is a lip liner. I got some makeup brushes. Let's open this. So, they're two sided. Let's see what this looks really. Oh, this doesn't even look like it was completely sealed. So, this is a Shein highlighter. So, it's just a cute little perfumey bottle. People are saying that you need to put lotion on or some sort of oil for this to stick because it's just glitter in a glass bottle. But I don't care. I've been wanting this for so long. Super cute. Oh yeah. The glitter is already on my fingers. <laughs> really cute. You just do a puff puff. <laughs> Wow, the glitter is literally already on my fingers. Gonna change the camera angle here. I got a new uh, tripod and a new mic and everything, so I'm testing things out. We're gonna look at what's in here. This is not a uh, a legit Shein video. If you can hear my voice in the back, but I got these lip pencils. I've been having a hard time finding brown. And the only place I can find brown is on Shein. So, not the only place, but the only place I choose to look because it's comfortable going to the same places. But these look so pretty. I don't really want to like open all of these because I don't want to break my nails right now. There's more makeup. I spent about $100 worth of makeup because that was running low. I really want to see the foundation. I feel like I bought these two bright. So I got Butterscotch and Golden. Those look way too bright. They just look way too bright. I'm hoping that they're not though. So I'm just gonna take off my makeup. So I'm zooming in. I'm gonna put butterscotch on the left side of my face and I'm gonna put gold in on the right. It comes in this really sleek black container. Like, why did I come like that? So, this one is butterscotch. Golden is the one that they said matches my current concealer that I have. These are the two differences. So. <laughs> This is definitely going to be super bright, but that might work for winter because um, I get brighter during the winter because I don't have no sun. So, absolutely not the other one. Okay. They're cute, but I've been tricked and bamboozled in everything. Look at that. A completely what's that? Looks like I have a face mask on. Yeah, we'll Not for me. If anybody wants some free makeup, come holla. You can have it. Let's see what's in here. What's going on here? This is my correcting primer. So it's just like the correcting concealer. This looks so weird. It looks so weird. Oh. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't think I'll just do that. <laughs> Maybe I just like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. It just looks so strange. And from all the makeup, I also got 
two different types of blushes terracotta like an orange and the one that i typically use which is pink and then i have some new pants Disappointment is an understatement. Like, these are like, this doesn't feel like spandex. This feels like, it's, it's not elastic. It feels like spandex. I don't like the material of it at all. Um, it doesn't even go to my feet. Like, these are really short. It's got me flooding. Like, it's got me flooding. Like, what the heck? The okay, last thing I got was this. It's a Christmas one, uh, like, Santa Claus onesie. <sighs> I'm just expecting to be disappointed. It's comfortable, but this feels like this is that type of material that collects lint. I'm actually not, I'm not too crazy about my sheen purchases this time, but other than that, the foundations are trash. I think if it was in my shade, I would have liked it. Those yoga pants are trash. This is getting like a three. A three out of ten for me. Boo. I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at my dirty vanity. Oh my gosh. So Alright. Good morning. Um don't mind me. I literally just washed my face and brush my teeth and we're sitting in front of the sun again. Today is Friday, November 10th. I have not picked up this camera. It's been a really like busy but not busy week. So it really wasn't much for me to record. Um, I've had a lot of homework, a lot of studying. I had to get through six chapters of my book because I've been so busy just in general that I wasn't reading my book and then I had to take a quiz so I finished all of my homework last night um and here we are on Friday so I freed up my weekend because today I'm just gonna clean so that's probably what you'll just see I don't think I have enough footage for the Tuesday vlog so I may have to continue this a little bit longer um and then Tomorrow, I'm going with my boyfriend and his family to a college football game. It's two hours away, but I probably won't actually say that the university's name because um, somebody goes there. Um, you guys know that I'm in Illinois. I'm in the suburbs, but I don't want to like put other people's information out there, so... If something sounds redacted or it sounds like I skipped over it, that's probably because I just like edited it out. I put my braids in this sunlight. Hold on. Two weeks ago. Okay. This is two weeks ago worth of growth. And I don't. Okay. So I don't know if you all know, but Dove was coming out or they came out with a holiday collection of like sugar cookie peppermint bark and i think it was like pumpkin spice or like pumpkin pie scent and i was on the hype with everybody else i was like i cannot wait till this comes out right so i went on walmart's website i think november 1st and i was like i hope they have them out because they said november 1st was the release date i looked at one of the reviews somebody gave it one star and they said this stuff smells like pungent oatmeal it's like a nutty flavor they did not like it and i was like "Ooh, i want to go to a walmart and smell it then because i'm not just gonna buy it blindly and it smells bad so i went to walmart and 
I couldn't find it and I was up and down the aisles but it has its own little section like by the body bottle wash at least in my Walmart so when I got to it I opened it up and I smelled it and it was bad so um, then I went back on Walmart's website back to that uh, review to see if other people left reviews it is it has been flooded if you go on Walmart's website just in general I think it should be the same for every place it's been flooded by reviews that say like promotional offer this is a review from a promotional offer and I just thought that was crazy um, so instead I bought native um, because native has a sugar cookie scent and I bought their little their three deal like you can get three things so I got their body wash their lotion and I got um, a deodorant so I'll do a review on that I have high hopes that that's gonna smell good now the Dove holiday collection was a disappointment so if you guys haven't seen it go go smell it at least before you buy it because it seems like a lot of people don't like it I don't even know if you can see her. <laughs> oh, hello.
Seats. What? We forgot.
So, happy Sunday. I'm going to another book club today. Um, it's at 1 and it's 12.57. <laughs> um, but, uh, this place is only about like two minutes for me, so, oh, four minutes, so, I'll get there at 101. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here, um, because I don't think I'm gonna record much at the book club, and I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, but if I don't come back with anything, I'm gonna end the vlog here, I'm just gonna say thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, the game yesterday that you saw, they did win. I forgot the score, but I just hung out with my boyfriend and his family. We went back to his sister's house or her place and, um, we just got food and then we, like, ate our food and then we went home and that was pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for another video. Um, I may not, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, bye. <laughs>